after midnight. Um, you're all watching that, uh, so not mine works the most. So pretty much we are already game planning, um, retention, uh, not necessarily product retention though, but um, leadership retention. Um, I look at like, leaders and building as like our structure, right? So if you look at, um, you know, a building or whatever and you see the pillars, okay, well, there's no pillars, it'll collapse back to its original structure, right? Right back to the ground. So what we've got to do is create that, that establishment of leadership um, because right now um, there's a gap and, you know, there's a gap in leadership, which means if there's a gap in leadership, it means there's no pillars, if that makes sense. So it collapse out into its original. Um, so what's the date? Oh, shit, I don't know. Uh, the 25th. Yeah, the 25th. Of April? Yeah. April, April 5th, 2020. I'm MP 5000. I'm 25 people out, 30 people out from chairman. Cash is. Where you at? Oh my god. Chairman 25. Chairman 25. I'm like maybe eight, seven, eight hundred out. That's crazy. We're gonna look back at that and be like, at least smoke that shit. Oh, <laughs> We're already game planning ahead of like this is just so for when he like this is actually for going into chairman, him going into chairman 25. So we're not even game planning. Chairman 10. We're not even game planning chairman 10. We're not game, we're not even game planning on how we're gonna get him to chairman 10. We're not even game planning with him at chairman 10. We're game planning on going past chairman 10. So right now we're already looking in the future and we're reverse engineering to now. And that's what we, you know, we always talk about that is you want to have the goal and then reverse engineer the goal right to the present because you re re if you reverse engineer the present, it'll give you a clear game plan. And you'll also be able to, um, the best way to, to solve any problem is to not have one at all. So right now, you know, we can already see that we're gonna have issues if we're not gonna do this. And this is why people's organizations collapse a lot is because they're just building and they're just recruiting or whatever. Um, and they're not really running it like a business. They're doing shit at random. People will hit chairman, and when they hit chairman, they go party, and they're not really seeing that they have a whole business to fucking run because this is a business, right? It's a business. So, you know, with that part being said, um, you know, you gotta like really game plan how you're gonna get it to that next level and have that structure and have a hold and everything. Um, so let's let's get into it. So, pre oh, so pretty much too, what we're going over is in Dallas specifically. Drake is the one pillar that's gonna that's kind of bridging the gap between the the quote unquote top chairman, right? So uh, Chairman Twenty Five, Drake's the P Five K, and then there's two Ks in dollars. But now what's gonna happen is, right? So now what's gonna happen is, is I don't know the can they see this on there? I don't know. Yeah, they can. There. I mean, it's just all over the place because I'm all over the place when I write, but uh, I guess it'll work. It's probably going to be too low. Alright, where's the light at? Where's the light at for these? Behind me. Okay. Um, hopefully that focus is right. Good? Cool. So, top chairman up here right now so far, right? Um, not saying he won't be there, by the way. Will not be surprised. <laughs> but, uh, anyways, point is, and I don't, by the way, I don't mean that in a, in a negative way. I'm just saying in a positive way that I don't think he'll be there. But, uh, I think he'll be up here with all of us. But, um, moving forward, right? So, we have all of these up there, right? Chairman, then for right now, the second technically 5K, okay? Now, after 5K, we have the 2Ks. And so what we're wanting to do is think in the future right now, right? Because as you see, if we were to erase this, okay? Then what's gonna happen is, what would happen is, if these were pillars, if you were to take Drake out, they would collapse. So what we're doing right now is we're already game planning on how we can replace this pillar with as many people as possible and who we're gonna and who we believe is gonna be the next up and coming and all that other stuff, right? Um, and so this is gonna be our focus area on who we should mold. 
Now we might be right. I mean, we might be wrong. We probably are wrong, but again, that's why it's a game plan. And so what we're thinking about is a lot of uh, leadership has to do with, um, you know, a lot of leadership psychology, group psychology, all the other stuff has to do with, uh, you know, level of respect, um, you know, and all that other stuff. So with that part being said, you know, what we're actually talking about, which I don't even know if I should talk about this, but um, is, is, is making, you know, is creating that person that's going to have that, that, that high vibe, uh, AKA maybe hype, high level of respect or whatever you want to call it, right? out there in the DFW market. And so you want, you know, to edify people that way, the people that are edified can, can bring excitement and energy to your team when they show up. And so um, what's gonna happen is when, when I move up, right, I'm gonna have a lot, of, uh, a lot more hype and we wanna make it right now where Drake is gonna take my spot right now. We wanna act as if, right? So we wanna act as if I'm already going into Chairman 50 and Drake is actually already going from Chairman 10 to Chairman 25, right? So he's at 5K and we're already acting like Chairman 25. So we're already in the future now. Now, as you'll see here, these are Chairmans, right? I don't have them as 2K, I actually have Chairmans written down, okay? So what we're wanting to do is find out, right? We're gonna, what we're wanting to do is I do the most calls right now, okay? I do the most calls. When I say calls, by the way, I mean leadership calls. And so I want Drake to essentially take my spot, take more control out there in DFW because it's all about giving the spotlight to someone else. And that's where people, people, uh, a lot of people couldn't handle having someone like Drake uh, just because Drake is an elite level leader and Drake's also a very respecting um, you know, leader as well. Meaning uh, if I don't, if, if I were to not tell Drake to, uh, hey, go take, go do calls without me, as far as big calls, I mean, Drake wouldn't do that just to respect me, if that makes sense, right? And so I'm actually having to push Drake into the spotlight saying, no, you're good, go do those calls. Now, what most people would do is they would say, um, they would just wanna stay in that spotlight, not let Drake do the calls, or not tell him that he should because they want that spotlight. I don't care about the spotlight. I care about giving it away, hurry up and building influence, and then that way we can mold leaders a lot quicker, and that's gonna be microwaving leadership. Now, what Drake's gonna do already is start creating the hype on, the, on certain individuals out there. Why? Because then those in, individuals out there in the DFW area could take even more control of the team, and then we start building that hierarchy, which builds stronger pillars. Now, going down to here, what we're having, is a uh, junior right junior if you're watching this we love you junior is a fucking cannon when it comes to phase one personals and all that other shit okay now drake right now is able to see everything going on um and drake is a hustler he's a digger um so drake is actually kind of too into the trenches and so i'm actually telling drake he needs to back up a little bit junior is really good at phase one now, with that part being said, and I'm gonna let you talk to him if you want to say anything. Uh, Junior's really into phase one. Um, you know, he's, he's savage in phase one. Um, we're, we're, what we need to teach him is how to essentially mold leaders quicker, how to duplicate, how to synchronize, and, and, and essentially, um, I don't know what the word is, but throw an umbrella over his team and squeeze them all together and get them moving as one within his team. And that's what he's needed to learn how to do. So this L right here, that's leader, 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 leader. Right now, what's happening is, is there is no, there is no leaders right there technically. And I don't mean that in a, in a negative way if, if you're on a team. What I'm saying is they don't have the knowledge yet because they haven't been taught yet. That's our fault, not anyone else's fault. And so once you, once you get rid of that, that means that let's just say there's a team of 100 down here, right? Junior's up here. Well, all of this will collapse all the way back to wherever it is when, when Junior started popping off. So we've got to start creating leader, leader, um, leader, leader. It's going to give a couple of levels right there, and that's going to create our strong structure. Then, what, then what's going to happen is Drake's also missing out on communication right now, meaning Drake is having to go down to the bottom to get information himself right which means that means that these are there's nothing in here because they're not passing it up they're not passing the information up so that immediately tells me that that's why we have that problem right here hopefully that makes sense and so now the other issue is 
Junior doesn't necessarily know yet, I believe, to go down to the bottom, right? So he's just in phase one and he's doing everything he can, but we've got to, and this is my last thing I'm gonna talk about, right? And this is what I'm gonna talk to you about, is gonna be do, uh, the, the first stage of how we're gonna do, do, how we do everything is gonna be duplicate. So first stage is we duplicate. We duplicate phase one, we duplicate, you know, uh, you know like teaching phase one, teaching, um, you know, speaking and all that other stuff, right? But then what we wanna go into is we want to uh, duplicate leaders, right? We want to duplicate leaders, okay? Duplicate leaders, those ones. But then the next stage that we want is we need to duplicate leaders that duplicate leaders. leaders. And that is what we really want. So we need him to duplicate them. We need these people to be able to duplicate leaders. And that, the quicker they can find out all of this shit by themselves, I know, I know that that's what we have to do now because on that webinar with Gio when I was on with Alexis, Gio literally said, I know, I know how to create leaders, but you created leaders inside of my leaders and I never know how to do that. That was literally his words like an hour ago. Yeah. That's crazy. Shit look like fucking Einstein up in this motherfucker. Like, I'm like, that shit looks all sloppy as hell, but it means something. Um, you know, hopefully that makes sense to everyone too, but yeah, like, um, you guys, if you don't, you know, if you don't really see what I'm saying, like, uh, you know, it, it's like, if you're not duplicating that stronghold and that leadership, passing spotlight so important, teaching leadership is so important, um, having that awareness and field vision, um, I'm gonna be real, my mind's fucking weird, so like, the thing that I think is crazy, I remember Drake was like, do you think that's something that can be teachable? Like how, how uh, you know, where you are and stuff? And I was like, honestly, I don't know, but I don't think so. But it's really weird, because I really realized that you, you really are starting to learn exactly like me. Like, I, I realized you've been watching the, doc the documentaries and shit. I wanna stalk you. And I'm like, what the fuck? But that's weird. And you know, it, it's crazy. It's, it's like, like a fucking portal. You should fucking you know say Just as I, this is how we build, right? Like. Like people be thinking that this shit's a mistake. This is like the best ever. The best to ever do it. Yeah. The best to ever do it. We really do. Some people don't even know what the fuck we're talking about. Like you don't need to do all that. Okay. That's probably gonna be the best in the industry. Best ever. You yeah. do need to do all that. That's what I was, I was telling somebody today that on the webinar. I was like, you know, the biggest thing I love about network marketing is like, we create leaders, not bosses, you know what I mean? And if you go into corporate, you're creating bosses that know how to manage other bo bosses. Like, we're not teaching anybody how to manage anybody. This is influencers that know how to lead. And there's a lot of different things that go actually into that. So it's pretty cool. Yeah, I'm good. Good. And that, that's a train right there. Whatever it is, then what you want to do is you want to call Junior and say to him like, um, you know, you want to call them and be like, yo, did it get done? You get what I'm saying? And well, then the crazy thing is like, the crazy thing is this, like, so I told Alexis, the guy was right here and he had three people. And I was like, I want you to plug me in a three way with him on Instagram, but he didn't do it. So I want, instead of me having to be the one that checks him, it needs to be junior, like junior. See if homeboy plug me in to a three-way type shit. Because why am I the person doing it? Is that what you mean? I, you say plug in into the three-way. Yeah, like the door-to-door -door guy. He's a P150, whatever. You you want to be able to, you want to show. Homie didn't do it. You want to get be in the spot of you show you show your face every once in a while, but you're more so like just shit. you're just kind of there, just because like. You, at some point, and that's what we're moving you into is that fame spot. So at some point, just your presence should just be enough. Do you, you get what I'm saying? Like that's what I like. So you're not necessarily, and I don't mean it like that, but you can kind of get what I'm saying. Like you want him to be that brutal brunt work, and then what's going to happen is, is when he maybe does a three away or whatever, or, or let's say he needs to get something done or whatever. Let's just say you do get pulled onto the call. You're more there to like solidify the col the clothes. You want Junior to do most of the work. Like a Jason Brown. Yeah, and you're just there to like just solidify. It. You're just there to like just 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 you know oh yeah 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 cool like Junior Dre did most of the work. 
and you're just shutting the door behind them, and that's kind of it. But so I'm like, I'm working like hard, but I need to be working instead of working hard, seeing movement. I want to see the movement and then train the leader that I'm seeing the movement and how they need to go attack it. You need to you need to you need to send the, uh, your leader to go. You need to train your leader to see the movement. Oh, so it's kind of like battle. Like I'm the general in the stand. Like, like chess. And and we're about to get flamed. And I'm not the warrior on the field going to uh, like yeah, defend yeah. the flank. I'm like yo, they're about to flank us. Yeah, exactly. So you go, you go, exactly. Uh, exactly. And then when you go now, let's just yeah, that's better. So now let's just say you're like let's just say this is you and then this is you, right? So what you're gonna do this is you. This is um, you know Junior for example. They're just throwing Junior in there, right? Um, <laughs> so you're gonna be like oh like and then let's just say this is your front. Let's say like this is your okay yeah this is better here we go. So what you would do is let's just say this is. Um, this is your front or whatever. So now it's like, okay, if you're getting flanked from right here, you're gonna say, hey, Junior, go cover that flank, boom. Now what you're gonna do is, since you sent him over there, you're not gonna go focus on something else. But you're also, again, eventually gonna go turn around to make sure you're still good. Well, cause I have to, cause then I'm like, okay, boom, UK. Okay, I see movement, like Claudine, just hit P150, boom, P150 over here. There has to be movement over here. So flank. Boom. Like, I see a lot of movement right now, like little ranks being hit. But instead of me seeing that, and like, I have the, I have the unconscious competence. Unconscious competence. I have the unconscious whatever to where I'm like, go attack movement. Now I need to be like, boom, uh, Ez or Martin. Yo, this is what I see. Boom, go attack this. Yeah, so you- Or Junior, boom. So you have, yeah, so right now, let's just say, like what we're having is. Oh, you should have taken a picture of that. Ah, he's sad. I was doing the same. I swear to God, I swear to God, right when I did that too, like I was thinking the same shit and I was thinking her. So, you have number one is going to be duplicate. Number two is going to be. Uh, you want to create, um, you want to create, um, or you want to duplicate leaders, or duplicate leaders that duplicate, duplicate, but then you want to duplicate leaders that duplicate. So should I not be in this, doing this? Mini one on ones? No, not really. Those lower people? No, like you wanna, you because you, you think about it, the experience is everything. So the quicker someone you give someone that experience, you're, like you're getting more experience. Someone else isn't, if that makes sense. So you always want to give because you're wanting to hurry up and grow fast and mold leaders fast. The quickest way for them to for anyone to grow is now is in the field is we're twenty in the classroom. So what I'm saying is. Look, your your what you're doing is you're duplicating leaders, right? Boom. Now, what the problem that we're having is your leaders, right? Your your leaders are duplicating. So your leaders are just duplicating, and so now what's happening is, is since they're just duplicating, you're going there and creating. You're since they're just duplicating. You're up here. They don't know how to duplicate. They don't know how to. They don't know how to create leaders. So you're now going down there to do that. So instead of doing that, what you want to instead of instead of uh, them duplicating and then you duplicating leaders, you we want, want them to go. Through. You want them to go duplicate leaders, and you go duplicate leaders that duplicate, meaning them. You get you duplicate them to duplicate uh, to duplicate leaders, and then you shove that down again. Once you get into this state, when you do, when you start duplicating leaders that duplicate leaders, you gotta remember I only have a couple. Of, like out of a, being chairman twenty five, I only have like three. And you're duplicating a leader. This is what I'm doing now. It's leaders. That That's what I'm doing now. Leaders. No, right now, like we're just at two. I'm just at three. It's like, like right now, like this is where I'm at. This stage. So I'm saying I want you to move into this stage completely because well, I no, don't like you're in the next stage though. What? Like. I'm moving into this one. I'm going to duplicate leaders that duplicate leaders. You're duplicating a leader that duplicates leaders. 
that dude pays me leaders. Yeah. <laughs> but right now I'm here. I'm That's just saying I'm, I'm, I'm moving out of it, but I only have like three or four. So like what I'm saying is in order for us to speed that process up, yeah. we've got to, uh, we've got to create it faster. So like, that's what it's like, it's going to be blah, blah, blah. And then once we get here, once you get the, remember that, that four people, how we had it, how it was like, you know, us. And then it was like the four, um, you know, it, and then it was you and whatever. What's going to happen is once we get these leaders here, once we get them on level three here, that's where it's going to get, that's where you see, um, you know, that massive growth to chairman 100, chairman, you know, 250, chairman 500 is when you're getting, like, you're not even, you're just bop, 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 and then you're using that, the fame part, and you're coming in there with that, with that, the higher level of respect, and you're able to move the masses just by speaking, and that, you know, I mean, like, you know, that's what Hitler was doing, and shit. I mean, so he, you know what I mean? And he had that's had generals and sergeants and everybody off the mm -hmm. Is that on? Yep. Great. Perfect. You might have to rock a rock room fucking both of them. Yeah, that is that this in all is like the most fire training ever. That's five K to chairman. Shit. Dr. This is uh really that's five. gonna be the chairman chairman fucking five hundred type shit because when we get once we get that that when we get our two K's, mark my fucking words, when we get our two K's to that that's when, when, when they're duplicating leaders that duplicate leaders, that's when it's, technically they're going to get chairmen and it's pop, 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 pop. Then they're on unconscious competence and now it's just bro, boom, boom, boom. Because you got to remember your team is, is always going to be you, right? And this is what allows us to tour. That's going to allow us to tour, but get this, remember, so unconscious competence is the most elite form of, of, of skill or anything, right? So the fucking crazy thing is, is that when we get those chairmen, remember everyone right now has to think to do things, right? So when they get there, they're not gonna think. They're not gonna have to think. So now you have this squad in unconscious competence where they're just rocking. So we're always gonna be working harder until they're not having to think because we have to think for them. When we don't have to think for them anymore, right? That's when they go into they take that spot. It's like, da, 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 da. And it's gonna fucking speed up. So we can, we should only speed up. We should only speed up. You know the crazy thing? I think I think like you get to think like this because of money. Like I feel like if there's like a lower level leader and they they're stressed about money or their job, then like those thoughts leak, and now they're not thinking about this. Facts. You know what I mean? And once you get that money freedom, like two K, boom, you hit two K. Now you're like those thoughts, you get gain those thought back, and it's like boom, boom, oh shit, oh boom. boom. Because the energy, is all, all, all this takes a lot of energy just to think about. And that's the shit, like, people don't understand. Like, that's where it's like, why would I want to park my car when, I, when you know what I mean? I need to save my energy for that. Or why would I want to, to... But you also said, like, the more money you make, then you get more creative or something like that. Whatever you said. I don't know what you said. This was fire. Yeah, that's uh, that's, that's another, that's another bar. <laughs>